We're back this week with Coach Fowl and joining him is Rico Stafford. Coach, let's go real quick. Let's go over that Central game. That's a tough loss for you guys. What happened in that second quarter? Um, you know, it was one of those things that we uh, we're up four touchdowns, and there's four minutes to go in the third quarter, and we just couldn't hold on. They had a lot of momentum. High school football is a lot about momentum. They uh, they got down there, stopped us on a fourth and one, and pulled the game out. It's a tough, tough game to lose, but uh, fortunately for us. We're in the playoffs. We got a beautiful week to practice, and uh, you know I forgot about it until you just brought it back up. How tough is it to bounce back after a loss like that and having to be so ready for this playoff game coming up? You know we're Lima senior. We uh, we battle quite a few things, pretty much every day, every week. So you know it was a tough loss, but we're gonna bounce back. You know guys like Rico, you know they they can bounce back with the best of them. Rico, what's the mindset for you guys right now going into this game? Just come out, win our first playoff game, because last year we didn't get that, and just take it one game at a time, basically. Just come out and play like we know how to play, and take, get this win. How much does that game last year, that playoff game, how much does that motivate you right now to, to win this one? It motivated me a lot, because I seen how the seniors last year was, like how they had it broken, because that was their last game, and last week the TCC game broke a lot of our seniors down, and I want that to happen again. I want it to be a good ending, not a sad one. Coach, talk a little bit about Miami's where you guys go there on Friday at 730. I mean, what do you know about that team right now? Yeah, they're a real solid football team. They got a huge offensive line. Um, three of their guys were all league players. They have a young man there, 6'6", 270, he's committed to Ohio State. So they are a big, strong football team. Uh, defensively, I think they're a lot like when we played Piqua. They have the same type guys. They're going to sit back there and play deep and try to keep everybody in front of them. And, uh, you know, they're a real solid football team. They're 9-1. We're hoping to play at home. That didn't happen. How much does that play a part? I mean, is it really, really going to matter for you guys having travel? Now, I, I kind of like traveling, but I'm not crazy about playing on a dirt field in the rain. Um, I think it's probably going to be rainy, and they don't have a, they have a really poor field. They don't have much grass. So, you know, that'll play into their advantage, and they'll have a big crowd. I imagine there'll be 5,000 people there from Miamisburg. So, you know, we want as many people as we can from Lyman to get there. But they'll definitely have the advantage in the crowd and the facility. Talk about this guy next year. How, how big a part is he going to play in this game, and how big a part is he playing this whole season for you? You know, I've talked about Rico for three years now. I, I don't think there's a better athlete in the state of Ohio, you know, in all sports. I mean, Rico can play football, he can play basketball, he runs track. You know, I love having him on my team and representing my football team. And as far as being a football player and a wide receiver, you know, he, he had two rough games in the middle of the year. And then this last half of the year, he has come on extremely well. You know, we throw the ball up in the air, Rico's going to go get it. And uh, he's faster than everyone he's playing against. So, you know, that, that plays a, a big part of it. But um, I love having Rico around. I'm going to miss him. Rico, describe the season for you. How, how's this been? It's been a pretty good season. The first half, good. Like Coach Fellas said, in the middle, I had a little bit of a slump, but bounced back from it and just not He's ready a, for it to be over. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> how did you, you had a couple of tough games, dropped some of those balls. I mean, what did you do to get over that? I mean, how, what motivates you here in the second part of the season? I had to practice harder and then take criticism, basically. When a coach says something to you, you got to take it. You can't get an attitude. Just go by what they say. They ain't trying to hurt you. They trying to help you. You no, know, you and Ruben catching the ball at most times. And you guys, are you guys competitive at all? You guys tally up who's caught more balls, that kind of stuff? No, we don't really do that. But in practice, we go at it. But in the game, we a team. We just we, we try to win, basically. Yeah, and that, that's what's great about these guys because you could really have a lot of competition that way, worrying about who gets their picture in the paper, who gets talked about. You know, the fact that, that Ruben has a Division One scholarship you know, Rico's a good enough athlete to have a Division One scholarship. You know, that kind of stuff, I, I never hear him. I never hear him when it, when it counts. Now, when we're having fun, when we're sitting around in this room or whatever, they pick on each other a little bit, which is natural. But, you know, it, when game time comes, I don't, nobody cares who gets what. It's just as long as we get it done and win the game. Rico, what does the future hold for you? Do you even know which sport you're going gonna to play in college? What's going on? No, nah, I'm thinking either football or basketball, but haven't decided yet. Coach, talk a little bit about just the progression of, of your time here. I mean, you come in, it's a losing team. You, you go 5-5 five five the first year, playoff last year, back in the playoffs. I mean, you made a good decision coming here, right? 
Well, you know, it was one of those things when I when I got the job, the uh, first thing I did, I went to a basketball game. And um, I went to a Finley Lima senior basketball game. I saw Rico and Ruben starting as freshmen on a basketball team. And uh, I told my wife, I said, you know, the key to us being good is to get those two guys, make sure they're out for football. Because I knew at the end of the year, neither one of them were on the team. And, um, you know, they, it took them a little while to buy into it. And uh, once they got into the summer and saw us throwing the ball around and having fun, you know, they've been great. You know, they've been great leaders for us with DeMonte Lyles. You know, he's another young man that came along there and Jay Thomas. So, you know, we had a great nucleus of young men there that were a sophomore class. And I think the year, the year, the guys a year ahead of them, Elias Wright and Malik Townsend and those guys, you know, we have good athletes here. We just had to get them to buy into what they're doing and work at it. Right now, we've got guys that have been working for three years. They've been in the weight room for three years. They've been in this program three years. So when it gets into battle, when it gets into big games, you know, you don't quit. You don't, you don't, you don't give up as easy. We kind of did that early the first year, a little bit last year, and now we're over that. We're going to play. We're going to battle for 48 minutes just like we did last week. Um, we're going to give it everything we have. And uh, these young men deserve to uh, keep playing and win some more games.